the speaker. Let me stop you right there. It's against freebooter team policy to borrow from the opponent's playbook. I'll admit, this attack hasn't gone strictly according to plan. But as we like to say in the League, no strategy survives contact with the opponent. Let's call this round a draw. You head back to your end of the field, I'll regroup my team, and we'll see where things take us in the second half. What do you say? That's about the answer I expected. Well, can't blame a coach for trying. Here's the problem. I can't let you live. But as long as you're on my ship, you've got the advantage over us. So, we're at an impasse. You want to negotiate terms. How do I know this isn't a trap? A meeting between coaches. Unconventional, but brazen. I like it. All right, I'm willing to parlay. Come speak with me in the captain's quarters. I mean, the coach's office. Come up through the cargo hold. I'll have my players take a time out. For now. The coach is ready to see you. Head upstairs. Captain Hawthorne, I'm ready to talk to you. All right, easy now. Let's just keep our weapons holstered like civilized people. I'm a man of my word. Let's talk. I'll even drop the toss ball act for you. My team and I were contracted to apprehend the unreliable, eliminate its crew, and dispose of the captain. I couldn't tell you who hired me even if I wanted to. The contract's anonymous. No names, no faces, just money and a target. I can't turn down a job like that, you understand.
Got some nimble fingers, Captain. You make it look so easy. Great work!
Yes, Captain? Welcome back, Captain. I understand you have resolved your differences with our former boarding party. Are you ready to depart? Understood, Captain. Resuming our course. Looks like we missed all the fun. Okay, going quiet. Phew, you got some nimble fingers, Captain. Let me just catch my breath, I swear, my heart's trying to punch its way out of my chest. Law, I'm so lucky you came along. I know it sounds crazy, but a little while back, I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. Then the security mechanicals broke out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. How can I help you help me get out of here? I'm Kelly Marine, the receptionist. And before you ask, I wasn't manning the visitor's desk when the mechanicals went haywire, because no one comes here. Not ever. Not since all us station workers were dropped off at the start of the project a year ago. You're an odd one, aren't you? No respectable company operates without a receptionist. Projects on a yearly rotation cycle. Once a year, Auntie Cleo reviews our work and decides if we get more rations, personnel, deadlines, that sort of thing. At first, I thought it was an honor getting assigned to a lab up in the ether high above Olympus. But I didn't know what it'd be like, day in and day out. Cabin fever sets in at about 90 days. Auntie Cleo's official term is contagious irritable claustrophobia, and it ain't covered by the company's medical policy. If I had to guess, you'd probably find his body either in his office or the labs. Or heck, he could have been on the toilet. I don't know. No bones about it, he was the smartest of us all. Maybe he evaded the automex too. Like what? Pink slip protocol. How should I know? I just monitor the front desk. Well, except for the last couple of days when I've been hiding out in here. If you work at Oops, you're doing research and development. If we're not researching or developing fast enough, the protocol's there to put the fear in us. Somebody messed up. When one of us makes a mistake, the whole facility pays for it. I know it sounds harsh, but it was in our contracts and everything. Yep, Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Auntie Cleo's naming and branding department's the best in Halcyon. 
just a feeling I got. Every day was the same as every other day. I felt like I was stuck in a circle, you know? Started imagining what it'd be like to break that circle. Station goes in a circle around the planet, so what if I just dropped off the edge? But after what I've seen, after what happened, I don't want that anymore. I want to live. I'm not making anything. The research team, they were brewing up some improvement to Anticleo's anthracillin. Science stuff isn't really my area, though, so I don't know more than that. Do I ever? Drop me off on the Groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just hide in a crate or something. You won't even know I was there. Here, this is my official laboratory headgear. I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. Orbit is stable, right? Ada checked before we docked. Captain? Easy. Shush. No talking. Concentrating. Damn it. I almost had it. The formula was in my mind and I almost had it. I was so close to a breakthrough I could practically taste it. You really did pick the worst time to manifest. The sky high. My magnum opus of psychostimulants. I feel like I've already explained this to the last hallucination. Oh, hang on. I see what's happening. You're real. Ergo, not a hallucination. This is interesting. I have several questions for you. Let's start with the obvious. Who are you, and how are you even alive? All sorts of things. Science, mainly. A little bit of research. If you're talking about all the dead bodies, that'd be the pink slip protocol. Right, that answers that. Next question. Do you come bearing fresh pharmaceuticals? Hey, I'm sorry about your friends, but more doses ain't gonna help. Look, we all know you're here to interrogate me. If I'm going to go through this ordeal, I'm not doing it sober. Ugh. Stale drugs. Well, what's one more disappointment anyway? Anti-Cleo instituted the pink slip protocol. Fancy marketing term that translates to, we're not satisfied with the quality of your work, so we're revoking your lifetime contracts. 
Can you believe Auntie terminated my entire team? It's a terrible setback. For my team, I mean, not for me. Not this time. I'll continue the work on my own if need be. I'm, you know, working on the task that I was hired to perform. I'm fulfilling my contractual obligations. Auntie Cleo wants us to develop Anthracillin Plus, a new and improved version of the original Anthracillin formula. And what Auntie wants, Auntie gets. Eventually, I was making considerable progress. I can't possibly fathom why they prematurely terminated the project. Right. A few moments ago, when I thought you were a hallucination, to be perfectly honest, I was hoping you'd forgotten. Auntie needs to be patient. I'll eventually get around to developing Anthracillin Plus. My priority right now is sky high. Once I perfect my formula, I'll be able to keep my mind functioning at peak performance without any pesky distractions. Like, feelings. Auntie had been threatening to instigate Pink Slip Protocol for months. Though I honestly didn't think they'd have the stones to do it. I was on the verge of giving Auntie the results she wanted. Well, almost on the verge. Approaching the verge. The point is, I didn't think this would happen. Before I was traded, I worked on Project Gorgon. I lost that team by attrition. Management turned the screw on my team. Forced me to fire one in ten researchers. The few of us that remained were overworked and exhausted. We didn't have much of a security detail. I don't know how the primals got loose, but my team didn't stand a chance. We were designing a drug the likes of which Halcyon had never seen. A veritable panacea that cured lethargy and guaranteed a lifetime of productivity. I was overwhelmed, overworked, frustrated. Forced to submit unfinished samples, failing to meet impossible deadlines. I started self-medicating, to enable my genius to perform at a greater capacity. To forget, to endure, to feel nothing. Project Gorgon was in its final days when the Primals attacked our lab. It wasn't long until Spacer's choice authorized my transfer to this facility. Human Inquiry was supposed to be responsible for testing Adrenatime. Under normal circumstances, the Chem Lab wouldn't have had to perform live tests. But Creative Incubation pressured my team with impossible deadlines. The prototypes we delivered to Dr. Blakesley at Human Inquiry were poor, because we were rushed. I had to begin experimenting on my own. I had to perform my own tests, so I used primals. They're not the best choice for test subjects, but I was working for Spacer's Choice. Whoever reached greatness by coloring within the lines. And besides, my lines often move around on the page. My point is, I was doing my job. I was doing science. I will continue to do so until my mind or my body expires. Not at all. Such an event is incredibly rare. Few workers understand the truth of their value to society. Me? I'm worth five measly lab coats. She would. No doubt she'd stuff my brain in a jar if she could. Do you know what she quoted to me one time from some rubbish earth book? Looked me right in the eyes and said, You are a brain, Jasper. The rest of you is a mere appendix. No, you don't. There's nothing interesting in the chem lab. 
There's nothing interesting in Gorgon at all. Gorgon is a featureless rock dragged along by the gravitational current of a barren asteroid belt. The chem lab is a graveyard. You won't find anything there but the dead. Well, it wasn't me. I've been stuck in this place for ages. In any case, it's becoming obvious you're not listening to sensible warnings. If you've set your heart on exploring my old labs, I won't try to dissuade you. Indulge me with a favor, and I'll give you the access you want. The electromechanical turbine is offline. Without any power, I can't possibly continue my work. Be a deer and reactivate it for me. That's all I ask. No, I'm not stepping out of my lab. Not under any circumstances. I can't bear to look at what's out there. Take the elevator to the storm platform at the top of this facility. Reactivate the turbine, and I'll give you the access you want. Of course you do. One thing at a time, my... trying to kill us?
can't hang around for a bit? I want to get a look at its innards. Facilities back. You'll need my voice to get into the chem lab. I'm obviously not coming with you, so I'm giving you a recording of my dulcet speech. This recording should get you into the chem lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of salt tuna. Wait, take my gun while you're at it. If you end up dying on Gorgon, there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. Die, perhaps? Automechanical sentries are generally programmed to ignore corpses. I don't like the idea of going back to that place. To that life. Yes, I know it's not me risking my throat gallivanting around Gorgon. It's you, for whatever madcap reasons you've got. I've helped you once, and I don't feel great about it. I made a clean break from Gorgon, and now it feels like you're asking me to tether myself back to that place. If you'll excuse me... I'm on the... I'm... Dot, I don't like the... I've helped you. I suppose you've got a point. Or something resembling a point. I'm in here, my personal security key card. There's a hallway near the processing room. It leads to a security. I'm on. I'm. You making sense? All right. Just one in. The disaster at the chem lab was my fault. I tested Adrena time on Primals. I decimated my own research team. And I was a coward. I locked myself up in isolation. I told myself that I needed silence and solitude to perfect my formula for Sky High. But the truth is that I was ashamed. Nothing? Everything? I told myself I needed a drug to help me focus, help me work. The weight of guilt crushed my capacity to work, but if I didn't work, then I was worthless. Adrena time was like that. It was designed and marketed as a necessity, an elixir of productivity. It made you feel guilty for not using it, and then hurt you when you used it. I'm starting to lose sight of my own thoughts. Entropy reasserts itself in the palace of my mind. Surely you jest. The compound is derived from the metabolic waste of Xenosa. Exactly. And even were one, we mind immense.
Here we... Hey, is that a saloon? I feel better already. Oh, oh my law. What is that smell? Let's make this quick, please.
Volunteers my ass. These are cells. It's so homey, almost. Whatever brought these folks here, they were just people. Same as us. like to watch too creeps Feel good at all. We've discussed the side effects, Dr. Ambrose. The drug's not ready for release yet. The side effects are immaterial. So it's dangerous. Perhaps it results in some thrilling mutations. Forearms, maybe? Or a second head? Try delusion, paranoia, gastric bleeds, via... Uh... 
Shall I enumerate every way our volunteers have died? Suicide by automech, suicide by hanging, starvation. Got the recording, Georgie. You sure, boss? I just put on a new cylinder. Stroke, spontaneous combustion, internal exsanguination. Just turn it off. I don't want to see no more. I can't take this. I... Why? Why? Who... Who does this? What kind of monsters ran this place? in my boots. Come and threaten a space... The barrel, will you? I don't know how much more of this I can take, Captain. I'm about to chew my own hands off with nerves. Oh, there you are. Is this... It's off, right? I don't understand these contraptions. Dr. Blakesley, ma'am, I have come to say that it's time. I'm gonna do it. Do what? I'm gonna try for one of the shuttles. You little shit. You've lost your mind. If I can just make it to the landing pad, I'll be free. Be reasonable, Morley. The project is almost over. We'll be out of here by October. Ma'am, it, it's January. You're recording, by the way. Damn it!
I knew this place wasn't going to be some pleasant seaside stroll, Captain, but I... I don't know how I can live with what we've seen here. All this cruelty done to regular working folks without even a shred of regret. And what's dogging me is... Why? They knew. They knew what Adrena time would do. Fuck, Captain. Marauders are half the reason Monarch's gone to shit. I'm fucking mad, Captain. Someone's gotta be. That journal better hold the key to the eternal equation, or Minnie's name's gonna have stains on it till the end of time. I used to think the beasts on Monarch were bad. At least they aren't cruel. These people chose to do this. Anything good has ever come out of these corporate science projects? You think the voice lock's hard to make? I kinda wonder if I should put one in the bathroom to keep Sam from smashing up the toilet. This facility. We attest to the zest with our hand on our chest. Be impressed as our guest by what we finessed. You are blessed to ingest what we thoroughly test. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Passphrase accepted. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Jasper Lowe. Like Monarch ain't the only place they gave up on. Hold on, I thought this place was supposed to be abandoned. You think that could have been the spooky voice from OCI? The one calling themselves the ghost?
It looks so... homey. Like a family lived here. All that goodness turned to such devilish ends. How the devil do I use this thing? Is it what? Oh, the barrel's turning. All right. <clears throat> I feel like an absolute idiot barking into this horn. I shouldn't have let Lucian talk me into this. What use do I have with audible notes? Posterity, my ass. Ah, great fucking law. What's it doing now? Jasper! Jasper, it's... How do I turn it off? It won't. Just press the button. The what? Oh, for law's sake, the button, Ollie. Accursed thing. Great work. Much ordinance could take down a manacle. A bit over the top, don't you think?
Processing. Beginning security patrol. Oh, you are in for it now. <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe, it's Georgie. If you're hearing this, you must still be holed up at the Sprat Shack. And you're not gonna like this one bit. I was trying to steal our recordings when things went crazy. I know, I know. Like I said, sorry. And I'm gonna be in a heap of trouble if I don't get them, so if you wanna save my bacon, you need to do it for me. I need the three interviews we did with Ambrose, this one here, plus another recording of my own. I left that last one with a guy who owed me a favor at the garbage processing office in the chemical waste ravine. I'll leave an automech near Stellar Freighting. It'll want all five recordings plus a passphrase. Glacial H. Oh, and don't listen to my log, all right? Just, just stay safe and keep your head down. I usually just...
Unexpected. Mr. Lowe was awfully messy, wasn't he? <laughs> I'd have hoped a smart fellow like Mr. Lowe would know better than to test it.
we've been traveling together, we've visited a lot of places that set my teeth on edge. This here makes my skin crawl. I've seen negligence and greed and incompetence run rampant over this colony. But this, this was evil. Worse than wrong, Captain. Catastrophic. And a whole lot of ordinary people who trusted them ended up dead. The folks down here dedicated their lives to fixing Halcyon. They were supposed to be the company's best and brightest. How'd they lose their way? That might have been enough for me back in Edgewater. But after all we've seen of Halcyon? Captain, someone should have said no. No wonder Minnie's trying to clear her name. This kind of disaster is liable to stain a family for generations. About damn time. I need a beer and a shower. Maybe at the same time. Those researchers sure know how to pick them. Let's grab that comic and get.
about the production of Adrena time, Dr. Ambrose. I hear Compound X is a unique challenge to work with. It's temperamental. It must be refined under tightly controlled circumstances at tremendously low temperatures. Do you compound it with anything else? Tell me more about your refining process. Our audience is conversant in the sciences, very detail-oriented, so don't be afraid to get technical. Last time I met you, you spoke like a groundbreaker builder sprat. Why the sudden airs and such specific questions? Does your minder know what you're up to? Does he suspect you're a spy? But, pardon me.
must have been where those researchers had their hideout. 